it's time to put on another sticker on our map. <laughs> so we are in Montana. And so I've got the Montana sticker right here that I'm gonna put on. Next stop will be Washington. Ta-da! Yay. Yay, we're adding more to our map. <laughs> like in another month and a half, exciting. we will add another eight. <laughs> Yay. Last night here. Last night here. We good. Oh man. I didn't actually film that part. Whoops. I filmed up until that part, and then I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> I thought you were making your mom. Spokane, Washington. We just got here today and we're only staying here for today because we got better things to do. But we're going to walk around and take a look at this park that Taylor likes. It's a pretty little place to walk. It's right next to the convention center. That's a slide. So you can slide down the radio flyer wagon. So this is Spokane Falls. This and the, I think it's called Riverwalk Park. Can't remember the name. Um, those are the two things that anytime I would come to a volleyball tournament in Spokane qualifier, I'd, uh, I'd always come and see. Them. So I wanted to show Brent, since he had never been here before. Pretty waterfalls in this really nice park. So we're not spending very long here. We're just kind of walking around. And then we're going back to our little RV park. And that's it for the day. That's all we're doing here. And we, then we move on and we're going to go check out the Cascades. Ready to leave. This big pavilion here, all these gardens and the flower beds and the rocks. If you're just in for just chilling at a place, you just want to stay there, relax, enjoy it, 
It's a great play. People at the pool already. And they're getting their sun on. Alright, let's not tear off the gate as we go out. That's a good idea. So one thing that we've noticed is there are a lot of trees go like on this road and Brent said maybe Washington apples. Looks like it. Looks like there are a lot of apple trees here. Um, which is really cool. Yeah, big apple crates. Big around. apple crates. I want to do that. I want to go float. I am so jealous right now. So jealous. That looks like so much fun. Ugh. It's not bad having this river right behind our trailer, huh? Yeah. Or just right in front of. If we want nice. to be tagging it. Right next to our side, basically. Super clear waters. photos I can send them. So what's going on? There's two deer. There's one with antlers and one without that are walking in this field. That's kind of cool. Yep. Came down to the river for a drink. I was like, where did you come from? <laughs> like, I mean, that's pretty steep stuff over there. And then you're having to cross a road. Like, jeez. Pretty day at the lake, huh? It's really pretty. Great temperature here. So how's the uh, the drive, the scenic drive? through the Cascades, man. So pretty. So, 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 so pretty. If you're in the Washington area, I highly recommend doing a scenic drive. There's not so many like overlooks and stuff like that. There are a few pullouts where you can see some views, but just the sheer density of the forest around you and um, the mountains and everything, it's just so pretty. It's a pretty little area very dense forest of evergreen trees very very pretty to so just drive through and see and oh we get water down below too cool we're stopping yeah super clear and blue
alert. Like, you don't see lakes this color that much. And the little bitty islands. Quite the wind, too. Yeah. chilly. Stick your hand in that. Yeah, uh, a little bit. On this bridge right now that you can see through that also has waterfalls and such in the background which is really cool but anytime a car comes over this bridge I feel the vibrations underneath my feet and it's a little scary Whoa. makes a cool sound <gasps> but it is a little scary. <laughs> but really cool waterfall yeah. in the background that starts up really, really high, goes all the way down the mountain. So I'd give it, I'd give it a three out of 10. It's pretty cool. You have totally ruined this video now. No, 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 no. You gotta understand, like <laughs> Niagara is probably a 10 out of 10. I've never been there, but I'm leaving some room, some wiggle room, you know? I don't want to go off and say it's like a 9 out of 10 and then I go to Niagara and I'm like, well, what was I thinking? <laughs> okay, I get your logic, but a 3 out of 10 sounds really bad. Yeah, well, I mean, it is kind of a small stream, but it's, it's pretty. It, you know, there's rocks and trees and stuff. Okay, 4. <laughs> I four got out it of upgraded 10. to a 4. You okay? I plugged my phone in. And it literally just plugging it in to the auxiliary cord starts playing. My heart will go on again from the beginning.
What do you remember? The GoPro. All right, you got it. I do have it. I'm good. I'm glad you remember before we even Whoops. drove off. <laughs> you got it. We're both trying to lose one of these. I uh, I may have left it sitting on the bed of the truck the other day when we got done with the jet skis, and then Taylor left it sitting there. I guess. Well, yeah. I was, yeah. Run across and stare at the waterfall and the drone and whatever. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Gotta get back home. It's gonna be late night for me. I got work in the morning. And we still have to eat dinner. Yeah, that too. Hit him with the sweet now. excited for this little town. This is the cutest already. And to have the mountains in the background, like, this is amazing. I get excited for little stuff like this. Like this town I found up, found out about just kind of randomly. It's so cute looking online. And I think it's even cuter in person right now. So hopefully All it's right. worth it. <laughs> hopefully we gonna sweat. kind of warm today it's like uh, it was like about 100 degrees when we got here so yeah any misting patio like that would be pleasant as compared to the heat yes oh yeah we got to say we enjoyed our little visit here to Leavenworth so this is such a cute town it's a cute town it's well themed there's a lot of buildings here lots of little tour shops and stuff some really good artisan stuff too uh, most of which is closed once you get past like five o'clock, especially on the weekdays. I think maybe on the weekends some things are open a little bit longer, but not everything. Well worth the little drive that we took to get here. It's yeah. It's a really cute area and I'm really glad we didn't miss out on it. We bought a few things. We got some fudge. We got some shirts. We got, well, a shirt anyways. Uh, Wizard of Oz ornament. Yeah. <laughs> they got a really cool Christmas shop here. Are you open? Doesn't look like it. Yes, go, go, till six. <gasps> I'm in a happy place. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, it's a couple Chris of stories. Kringle. It's the cutest, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> this was cool, it was like a two hour drive from where we were staying and I would say every bit worth, you know, spending the two hour drive there, here, two hours back and a bit of time walking around the town and enjoying it just the feel and the vibe of the area it's just a cute town you don't see many towns especially the bavarian themed like this you don't see them around that much and on that note i think we're gonna eat this and get to walking yep. so we got a couple of blocks to walk and we got a couple hours to drive mm. Mm -hmm. Leavenworth, Leavenworth, 
Taylor's doing to me. came down to the town of Winthrop and it's a pretty neat little town. I'm standing in the little tiny park that they've got right now that's kind of in the middle of it. Uh, overlooks the river, you got a little bit of river access here and then the rest of the town is this old frontier type town with like a couple dozen little stores, restaurants, um, some of which are, seem to be closed because of COVID and like a grocery store and stuff. We also do rentals in the area. There's some um, lodgings, uh, KOA. We are not staying at that, but it's here and I imagine it's kind of nice because the rest of this town is kind of a cute little town. So if you're anywhere in this area here east of the Cascades and you're looking for a cute little town to come down and hang out around, you know, this one seems like it's not too bad. What do you think? <laughs> I may have opened up the almond chocolate thing that I just bought. I couldn't help myself. Walking around carrying this and some toffee, I kind of want to eat it. We are heading out toward Seattle area. Yeah. So along uh, Twisp, or the Twisp area, I should really say. Yeah, we're kind of a little north of Twisp and a little south of Winthrop. But yeah, very nice little park. A lot of people out here enjoying it, and uh, I don't blame them. Yep, nice little park. And now we're headed out, but it's been a good week. This is the start of our weekly drives. Nice rig. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I got a compliment on our rig. Yeah, even though it's filthy right now. <laughs> Hello. I see you. You're on film. You. I'm filming you. Filming yeah. You. Yeah. Show yourself. What we do to go get photos, we need to go the opposite direction. So Brent's just reversing on the, the side of the road. It's uh, there, there's enough room to you know like turn around and stuff back here. Why not just back up an eighth of a mile or whatever it is? And I'm doing here. We're almost there. I'm just backing into this driver here. And turn around. <laughs> there we go. 
you out. The skirt. <laughs> oh. Huh. See? How easy was that? This is killing me slowly. <laughs>